Dang, I like busted. I kind of just showered, but uh, fuck you. All right, what's up, y'all? So this video may be kind of like random, or it's not what you guys are used to seeing from me, but I don't really care. This is a video that like I kind of need to make. It's not even, cause to be honest, I don't want to even fucking make this video, but I'm going to make it because I've been procrastinating to make it, cause I like. Just pushed it off and said, oh no, I'm going to get over it. Hmm. My face is dry, so. I just got out the shower, but. But yeah, I've been procrastinating saying like, oh, I'll make it later, whatever, whatever. I'm just not going to make it at all. But I've gotten to the point where like, I need to make it. Um, Yeah. So basically what I'm going to be talking about is it's kind of serious. Like, it is serious. I feel like one of the biggest issues with this that I'm dealing with is that I kind of just been like dismissing it saying, oh, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, it's nothing major when in reality, like it is, it's affecting like almost every single aspect of my life and I can't keep acting like it's just some little thing that I can brush under the rug, you know, cause it's more than that. So, um, first things first, uh, I don't know if you guys can tell by the title. I'm not even sure what I'm going to title this, but, uh, we're going to be talking about me and my journey through my porn addiction. Yeah, a porn addiction. And one of the reasons why I haven't talked about it either is because, I don't know, it's, I guess it's just, like, so taboo to even say that you have a porn addiction. Like, dang, like, I don't know. But, yeah, um, that's something I struggle with and I still struggle with. Um, I really, what really compelled me to make this video was, like, I got home and, like, it just hit me, like, damn, I, I'm just in a cycle of, like, ugh. all right, and it, let me, let me start from the beginning. So, um, when I was like nine, I remember I just like found, stumbled upon some porn. You know how like you would go on like a website or something like back in the day and like you would get like a pop up and it would be like some porn site or whatever. And like I think I just like clicked it just to chat, you know, to see what's up. I was curious, like a kid, and that's kind of where it all went downhill. Um, at first, I just was watching it, like looking at stuff just to be like, oh shit, like you know, um, I wasn't addicted. Honestly, I can't really recall because it's so long ago, but I don't think I was addicted to maybe like 12 or something like that. But I know that from 9 to 12, I was watching it a substantial amount, but I don't think it started affecting me until I hit about 12. Um, I have allergies, so sorry from like rubbing my nose and shit, but yeah. And like, you might be thinking, where, where's his parents? Where's his parents? I remember I got caught one time watching it when I was like maybe... 10 or 11 something like that just young not supposed to be watching that and I, my mom caught me and she took my laptop and all that stuff but obviously if i have a drive to do something i'm gonna do it you know i found ways like to watch it still regardless of the consequences and also another thing is addiction i know i have an addiction because no matter how bad the consequences are and no, no matter how it affects my life i somehow still find myself going back to it and still consuming porn and like that's just crazy to me. That's how, like, like, dang, like, that's how you know you really do have an issue. Like, you know how bad it's affecting you and all these, all this stuff, all these things, and you're still putting yourself back in that situation. And that's how I know, like, I need help. But I don't know. I haven't got medical help or anything like that. But um, just doing my own like research and educating myself on how to deal with my feelings and everything. But yeah, anyways, so I started at a really young age and. Uh, yeah, I kind of just progressed from there. Um, I didn't go continuously. I think maybe when I got to high school, um, I slowed down a bit watching it. Maybe from like 14 to 16, that 16 kind of spiked again. Um, so I've never really had a full time since I was nine where I just didn't watch it. Like, I don't know. I think maybe the longest that I went in a time period without watching it was maybe like a year. And I was probably just busy with school or whatever, whatever. Maybe, I, you know what I mean? I was like 15. I think that's when I just wasn't. Uh, consuming it at all that's like the last time I can remember going longer than maybe um, like three months uh, the last time that I went a long streak was like summer I had went through a breakup and like I was just on my like boss up type shit like I just disconnected from everything including porn like I wasn't consuming um, I wasn't consuming it at all uh, I was just focusing on me and that honestly I just think about it and that was such a good time in my life because like everything hit um yeah so one of the things that like watching porn does it just makes you numb like 
you program your brain so much to only get um, happiness and only get pleasure from a screen. So like everything else doesn't hit. So it's like sometimes too, I find myself going back to it when I'm when I'm most empty, when I'm most alone, because like I just want to feel something, and with that I feel something, and I know it's so bad, but like I don't know. Um, but yeah, I remember feeling so good in that time period. Like everything was just like pure. Like my thoughts. Dang, what the? It's so itchy. I'm not picking my nose. I think I have fucking Pierre's, my bunny's hair in my. Okay, anyways. But yeah, that was just like a really good period of my life. Um, and that's what I'm striving to get back to. It's just a life without porn because it really is detrimental to me. Um, yeah, I. So today, let's talk about today. Um, it really sucks because, you know, here, I'll tell you guys exactly how it goes down. So I I had a month streak, like I had went a month clean uh, since last month to like two, up until two days ago, and then I relapsed. And the thing about relapsing is like, I've done it so, relapsed so many times that like, I know what it's gonna feel like after, you know what I mean? Like I know how bad I'm gonna feel the next day. I know how bad I'm gonna feel the next week. I know how bad I'm gonna feel the next month. Like um, the thing that bothers me the most is like, I can't interact with people um, when I have porn in my life. Um, I know it sounds so crazy, but it's true. Like literally I get so irritated. I think it's because like, think of it like withdrawals, right? Someone does, crack for a long period of time you take it away from them they're gonna have withdrawals because they were they needed that to survive like that was their their thing to keep them going type 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 thing so that's porn for me you take it away from me i do go through withdrawals meaning like my withdrawals would be like you know i don't even want to hang out with my friend that's also too i want to say this if my friends are watching this because i don't even talk to them about this because it's not something i even want to bring up i just act like it's okay and it's really not okay because it's still in my life after what 11 years so yeah it's clearly a bigger problem than it is but uh yeah like i don't even want to hang out with my friends since like after because i know how irritable i am and i'm just numb and like i'm just not me like i'm me yeah of course i'm me i'm always gonna be me but i'm not in the right headspace like my mind is kind of jumbled you know like and I don't want to bring that energy around other people. So I'd rather just isolate. But in the same time that I isolate, maybe it's like, I know that it seems like I'm just trying to like, say fuck everybody, blah, 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 but I'm not. Like, even my girlfriend, like, I swear porn is a bitch when, if you're in a relationship, bro. Like, like I do get like horny and stuff and I want to like do things with my girlfriend and everything. But like, after watching porn, like, you don't have an urge anymore because you just, you know, watched porn and did what did whatever you did you don't have that that like urge anymore that natural like urge to want to actually go do something with a hum another human like that you just you just basically busting it out artificially and like you can tell the difference because it's just so weird like i find myself sometimes not even being like affectionate and shit or like just being like cold or numb like i'm not even fucking alive type shit and it sucks and now like i said i've been through a lot of relapses so i kind of know um how to deal with my irritability and my mood swings and all this stuff but still like it takes so much energy to be around people and have to check myself for every thought every reaction like i have to be like hey bro chill you know you're irritable but like respond in a chill way and it takes a lot of energy like i'd rather just not be around people so yeah that's one of the things um i know that's what it takes usually 100% of the time when you're healing or going through something you just need to be alone and it's definitely a fact because like I said that three month period summertime um, I was by myself like I didn't have nothing like I wasn't even kicking on my friends like that um, I was just by myself like by myself but I did come out of it um, and I'm not even too sure why after that um, it happened again like why I relapsed and um, I've been watching a lot of videos too about like there's this uh, psychologist or I think she is or she specializes in or she knows a lot about um, porn addiction and I've been watching her videos and she said that um being I lost my train of thought hold on let me drink some there's like nothing left it's just some sparkling water
Alright. You guys can look her up if you want. Excuse me. Her name is Dr. Trish Lee. Um, but yeah. Damn, bro. Why do I keep losing my train of thought? I hate myself. Well, I don't hate myself, but like, bro. Get it together, bro. Get it together. What was I going to say? Alright, whatever. It's not going to come to me. But yeah, her name is Dr. Trish Lee, and she's just been really, really helpful with this whole process. Like, I've just been learning more about myself and exactly what um, an addiction entails for me because, dang, at this point, like, as I can tell you, I'm big in this video because not that it's like this is my last cry for help or anything, but like, I need to do something different and I feel like maybe if I put out my, put my struggle out there, it might help me. I don't know. I'm just seeing what's up. Maybe it'll help other people too because I know that there's a lot of people that go through this and they just don't speak about it because who wants to be like, hey bro, I got a porn addiction. Like, that's not, it's not that easy, bro. Like, these are the type of demons that like, motherfuckers be talking about that they don't want to share with nobody. Like, this is a fucking demon if you ask me. Like, bro, 11 years and I can't kick it, that's a fucking demon. But like, yeah. Like, even with the homies or my girlfriend, whatever, or my family, I, I don't want to be like, hey, I don't want to hang out today because I have a fucking porn addiction and I'm irritable. Like, I don't even want to say all that. Like, it's embarrassing for me to even say because, like, how am I still in the same boat, bro? Like, dang. Like, it's just a fucking cycle and I'm tired of the cycle. I'm tired of all the negative feelings. I just want to feel normal. Like, I just want to have a normal sex life. I just want to have... A normal life and when I talk about a normal sex life I don't mean like I don't get none or nothing like that it just means like bro when you watch porn and then you go fuck the fucking is not gonna hit the same because like your brain your brain sexually is attached to porn it wants porn it wants you to go watch that that's the best like that's top tier so when you actually get a real girl in front of you or whatever a real person in front of you like it doesn't hit like the video hits and that's fucking sick like that's sick like that's that just it's so disgusting to me but yet i'm still in the same cycle and but to be honest i do want to give myself some like props i guess because i've been trying really 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 hard and like even though i did relapse like it's just a one-time thing it's not like i go into like a whole week of like binging porn or anything like that like i check myself you know and I know the road is not going to be so smooth or whatever. It can't be perfect. It's not going to be perfect because I'm human. So I do, I can't be too hard on myself that I relapse and stuff like that. But I also, I'm not so like chill about that. I'm just like, it's cool. It's cool. There's a, a balance. You know what I mean? But yeah, definitely want to give myself props because like I've been through it. Um, and I'm, I'm doing better. I'm doing better. I could say that because I remember before, bro, I couldn't even go like, two days without watching it like i would realize after every two days now i'm going a month three months you know progress slow but progress like that makes that that's still something to me you know uh eventually though i'm gonna kick this and i know i'm gonna be back at it back at everything um even this shit too like my motivation is just gone like literally okay i watch porn i relapse the next day i my self-esteem low uh my anxiety high um I'm just, I don't even want to do anything. Like I said, I know I don't want to be around people. I know I don't even want to go out. I don't even want to this, don't even, don't even want to do anything. I just want to like chill and that's okay because I'm healing. Like one of the things, if anyone's watching this that also is going through this, one of the things that I can tell you the best, um, but yeah, one of the best strategies that I can tell you to beat this is like, I know everyone probably says this like, oh, like this is the solution for everything. But like work out work out and be by yourself because working out is a good release i find that like uh i'd be so angry irritable and i go to the gym and let it all out you know on some reps like it really does help it's a good release and it's healthy um clear your mind it's just it gives you natural that natural dopamine release instead of an artificial dopamine release that you get from porn or whatever else whatever else right um but yeah, and the other one, so work out and be alone. I say be alone because even for me, um, you need to pinpoint where the pain is coming from because addictions don't happen for no reason. Like, I want to sit here and believe that I'm addicted to porn just because, oh, I like watching it. So I just watch it a lot. But in reality, I know it's because I was trying to escape something. 
you know, um, drugs, porn, whatever it may be, um, all these things are like methods of escapism. Escapism meaning like something in your reality is bothering you. So you're going to go do something else that takes you away from your reality. You know, I got people like they're at home, their home life may suck. So they go do something that distracts them or uh, takes, you know what I mean? Like the escapism thing. So I know that even me as a kid, something was bothering me like to the point where I just wanted an escape. And I'm not quite sure what that is. Sometimes it isn't that I'm scared to go back in my head and like, you know, uh, go look for the answer. It's just like, I don't even know. Like, <laughs> like I really don't know. Um, it could be a lot of things. I used to think that, oh, maybe it's because I'm trans and like, I don't know. I don't even know how that would tie into it, but it could because maybe like I just felt um empty or something like that i don't know i don't think it has anything to do with me being trans i think maybe it was like some type of trauma has happened to me uh i don't know that's what uh dr trish lee was covering too like there's some trauma you had as a kid or whenever you started that really stuck with you and you me i i went to porn as a way to escape because i'm nine i'm not gonna go do drugs at nine you know what i mean like i didn't even have access to them first of all so porn was my drug um yeah i find myself too like i really so this is my plan um to overcome this and really beat it for good um i gotta spend more time alone um i really gotta work on myself and i mean that like because I, I right now i feel like i'm okay and everything but like i don't think i'm like the person people want to be around like i do find myself just being angry or irritable or whatever whatever sad depressed and i'm just like dang like if i was like if i if the script was flipped i would not want to hang around me and that's totally unacceptable because i don't even like to hang around me but I'm hanging around me because I want to fix me and I know that I have potential like I bro I have so many great ideas so many aspirations so many dreams that I'm gonna accomplish but I need to knock this down first because if I don't and I continue pushing forward it's just gonna get in the way of whatever I end up doing in the future and I'm not trying to have that I'm not trying to be hindered anymore I'm not trying to you know what I mean I'm not trying to have it pop up uh two years from now and just fuck up my life more and I'm gonna just Nah, I'd rather take this time, stay down, fix what I gotta fix, and then move forward um, stronger than I ever have before. So that's the plan. But yeah, uh, one thing, like I said, working out is really, 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 really gonna save me. Um, I've been like investing more in working out, I guess. Um, that's like a healthy way of escapism, I guess. Like go and spend two hours at the gym. Um, you know, it makes me feel good. I get to like socialize without socializing. I think I like the gym too because I I'm around people, but I don't gotta talk to the people. <laughs> like you know, like I could just like post up. But I also feel like I'm being social in the same time. Um, but yeah, it's crazy. It's definitely crazy. But yeah. Then again. I want to clarify, I'm not making this video for clout, I'm, I don't even know what clout I would get from this, or for attention or whatever, I'm literally doing it because like, I just need to talk about this and I want to put it out there for other people that may be going through the same things as me, because I know damn well there's people that go through the same thing as me, and maybe, you know, it'll help you not feel so alone and maybe help you feel like you have a chance because I literally remember like I just couldn't beat it for the longest time like I'm so sorry but like I wouldn't even make it I wouldn't even make it like a day or two and like literally like all these symptoms so also too like when you relapse more and more frequent that's less time for your brain to heal so you feel the effects harder so I'm telling you I would relapse like every other day 
So like you can just imagine how depressed and like on top of already the feelings that you get from relapsing, I'm over here like, dang bro, like I can't even kick this. Like I'm just ashamed of myself. Like, like bro, like yeah, just mad at myself. So yeah, um, in those times, I really I don't want to say I want to kill myself. I don't want to say I want to kill myself, but um, definitely felt hopeless. Definitely felt hopeless because, you know, you relapse, you're like, okay, I'm not going to feel good till two weeks from now. Do I really want to wait two weeks from now? Like, that's going to be the longest two weeks ever. Two weeks of just, like, making it, going through the motions, whatever, whatever. Uh, but, yeah. It's definitely tough, though. I'm, I'm honestly not even really going into, I'm going into detail, but, like, there's more to it. But I'm not going to just spill the beans uh, in one video. I'll make another video. Because honestly, I'm going to start like posting um, what's up with me. Because, yeah. We'll see if it helps. But yeah, y'all. Um, if you have some questions for me, you can leave them in the comment section below. You can hit me up. Uh, if you actually watch this, that's cool. If not... Whatever purpose is just for honestly for me to vent and then to help other people out that might uh, Need someone that's going through the same thing. So yeah, y'all later